So we're into the final week of the school holidays now for many people and lots of children will be going back to school but they're still here enjoying the beautiful sunshine but have the holiday parks like this one made up for the money that they lost in lockdown. Martin Cox owns several holiday parks in the West Dorset area. Martin have you made up the money? What's it been like? No, no we haven't made up the money. Um, we lost 45% of our income between March and early July and it's impossible to make that back. We've had a good period in July and August within the limitations given to us by social distancing, but we cannot uh, make up that money that we lost in the early part of the year. Now, you've seen some other ideas in places like Luxembourg. What would you like the government to do? There are ideas that you think might work here. I, th I think we need two things. Um, I think we need an extension to the furlough scheme, um, uh, at a, perhaps at a lower level, an 80%, but something to get us through the winter and keep our team together. Um, I think that applies across all hospitality businesses. Um, secondly, is an idea that's been uh, uh, kicked around in Europe and, and, and by others, is, is that um, we have a holiday voucher scheme similar to the Eat Out arrangement where people can take a holiday between now and Easter. Of course, it's not just the money and the takings down here, it's the money they'd put into the local economy. Martin now can't afford to refurbish various cabins, which means that money won't be put back into local businesses. He's also going to miss out on his Christmas trade because he used to hold functions that now won't be able to take place.